Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. So welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new Karibusana, my name is Sheba. I'm a fourth year med student currently studying version of science and clinical medicine. It's been a minute since our last video, but today inshallah I'm gonna be sitting down here and recording answers to questions about clinical medicine that you guys sent me over a period of time. It's been it's been a minute. Like you guys sent these questions a really, really long time ago. So I haven't really gotten the time to sort of I'm just making an excuse half up, but I haven't sat myself down to actually film this video, but now is the time and bismillah. So earlier on, I asked you guys over on my Instagram to send me questions about clinical medicine, concerns that you might be having, any rumors that you need demystifying and all that kind of stuff. So I got a bunch of questions, alhamdulillah, there were not such many, but they were so comprehensive to be able to address a few things in between. So alhamdulillah, let's get right into it, you guys. So I wrote myself a note for like the future me when I'm recording this video, uh, back then when I received the question. And the note is to address the fact like, if you are currently doing clinical medicine and there is no way, shape or form, any, any, any sort of route that you can take to go into medicine, please get comfortable with the idea of doing clinical medicine. I'm not saying that you would like, don't go over your goals. If there is a way that you can go into MBCHB, then go for it. But if, if there is no actual way of you going, unless through the degree or through the diploma, please get comfortable with it because Emotionally, it's going to take a lot from you and you really need a holistic approach to everything that you do. Like you need to be well in terms of physically, mentally, emotionally, so that you can be able to, to sort of handle the things that are there in school. So please get comfortable with the fact that you are in clinical medicine and yeah, just, just be okay with it. So first question is, are clinical medicine interns usually paid? So Alhamdulillah, for the lab. Uh, everything that I'm going to answer in this video, everything that I'm going to say, everything that I'm going to suggest, everything that I'm going to like reference to, it's something that personally A, I've, I've been able to like experience it, alhamdulillah, through our teachers, through asking our teachers, through asking our lecturers and stuff. Then two, it's something that alhamdulillah, for the law again, like I've been able to interact with these clinical officers, interns and all, all these cadres. And three, it's on my own research that I've done, that is the information that is currently available on the COC website, in the Kenyan constitution and sort of things. So are clinical medicine interns usually paid? So yes, they are paid. From the friends that we talk to, they are paid. And also from what we are hearing, like what the county governments are doing, it, yes, it is true, they're paid. So there are a lot of things concerning the payments, but the, the consistent story that I've had from the interns, both the MO, that is the medical officer interns, and the clinical officer interns, it's that the pay is somewhat dependent, one, on the county that you're in. And then secondly, it's, it normally doesn't start with the first month, month of internship. It usually starts with like the third month ongoing. So on the third month, you get the, the salary for like the three months that you've done your internship. So that is all I know about getting paid. So the other question is, I've heard of issues on role conflict concerning roles of clinical officers. What roles are they usually assigned? So role on role conflict, like I don't really get this question because what clinical officers do, okay, based on the experience that I know, uh, is that one, they teach, like we have a lec our lecturers in school, so they are clinical officers. Two, they are diagnosticians so they diagnose patients they treat patients they participate in management plans they plans they assist in surgeries like i don't know they're, they're simply mini doctors like like something to clarify before we proceed with this video um if by any chance you have legit information like legit legit information not rumors not <laughs> myths not stuff because i remember the last video i made on on such kind of grounds it had a lot of comments and alhamdulillah before the law it's the most popular video on my channel so far so it has a lot of comments it has a lot of people's opinions it has a lot of rumors it has a lot of things so please 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 withhold your comment if it's it's like not legit like just please you know <laughs> so if you have any legit information about 
anything that I'm going to answer, anything that I'm going to say, any correction that you might have, please comment down below. The other question is the negative video of almost doctor of degree graduates, Tamakin, thinking of changing into nursing. So uh, I guess this, this question is, uh, what do you have to say? Or like, what, what do you think of that video? It's, it's there on YouTube if you want to go and watch it. It's a documentary do done by Dr. Massey of KTN, I guess. Um, way, 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 way back, she did a documentary on clinical officers stomaching. And on the other video, if you haven't watched it, please, please go take your time off this video and go and watch that video. Um, it's, it's sort of traumatizing in its way because I remember it's traumatizing me. But one thing about me, 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 like get comfortable with is arzagna maktub. Uh, like everything is laid out by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the idea of someone thinking that mimi sitapata kazi mimi sitapata like I won't be able to sustain my family for example uh, al, al tamak tamaking is there for everybody Tam lawyers tamak we have graduate medical officers tamak for God's sake we even have consultants Tamaking. You know, nobody has it figured out and everybody is struggling. So narrowing it down to clinical officers, in my own opinion, it's something that just doesn't make sense. Like as an intelligent person, as a, as a person who thinks like intellectually, like Bizuri, that is not something you can say because a lot of pe people tamak out here, like ev everybody is tamaking these days. Like who doesn't tamak? It's become like a fashion of every other profession. We have people from computer science tamaking. We have people from law school tamaking. We have people from pharmacy school tamaking. We have nurses tamaking. This person is asking, is saying, thinking of changing into nursing. So is nursing the solution? Like, are you not going to tamak? Like, you get, jobs are there, but tamaking is also there. So, yani, put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that everything is going to be okay. Uki tamak, it's, it's normal to tamak. It's normal to tamak. Like, I know of consultants, like for, for, for those of you who don't know what a consultant is, it's someone who has done NBCHP. They have done their internship. They've done like minimum two years of service. Um, and then they have gone back to school, done a master's in medicine in either specialty, like ranging from the all types of specialties that we have. Um, then graduated from that specialty training. So they become a consultant. Now think of this kind of person with all this training, all this type of like, all this trouble, Zoom to MAPT and Shulia from the MBCHB path, from the getting the jobs, from the nini ninis, from the internships, and the hurdle, this, the hustle that is there in residency. There is residency training, residency is the master's training. So think of all this struggle. Like you don't have things figured out and it can take someone like 13 years to learn their dream job. It can take someone like, 20 years to land their dream job. So tamaking is there for, for every profession for every profession. So Mimi personally I would say, like I would suggest, sit down with yourself, sit down with people who are knowledgeable about this kind of stuff. Sit down with people who you trust, sit down with people who are able to offer you good and genuine advice. Tell them about your ambitions, tell them about your aspirations, tell them about your goals. What do you want to do with your life? Because that is what matters the most. If you want, if you clearly want to become a doctor, then go for it. If you want to become a nurse, go for it. Understand initially what being a nurse means. Being a nurse, not only being a nurse, being a nurse in the country that you're in, being a nurse in the county level that you're in. Understand what being a clinical officer means. Understand what being a doctor means. Shadow a doctor if you can. Shadow a medical student if you can. Look at videos on YouTube. See people who are doing this kind of stuff. Ask yourself, is this something that I'm going, I'm willing to do for the rest of my life? Is this something that I'm comfortable doing? Is this something that I, I don't know about it, but is it something that I'm willing to expo, ex, expo, explore and do for the rest of my life? You know, like these kind of questions are the kind of questions you should be asking instead of asking things about tamaking, instead of asking about Kazi, instead of asking about people not being able to get jobs, I don't know. I don't know if you guys are getting what I mean. Huh? So I, I had an encounter with one of you guys. Um, you called me. So Alhamdulillah, I talked to you guys and 
the same thing rose kwamba oh hakuna hakuna kazi hakuna abcd and mimi kamuliza a very simple question and i'm going to ask you alhamdulillah i'm going to ask you guys and don't give me but give yourself a really honest and genuine answer for the how many years that you've been alive let's say you're 20 years old let's say you're 19 years old is there a day on this earth umeenda nanja is there a day imepita hata kama umefunga like is there a day imeisha hujakula kitu yani if 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 that is the case wallah nasalullah an akufungulie riziki zako lakini aghalabu ya watu ambao watakuwa wana watch this video probably that is not the case hakuna hata siku moja umelala nja hakuna hata siku moja umekosa chakula huyo huyo Mungu ambaye amekujalia wewe kupata chakula hizi miaka yote miaka ishirini wewe umekuwa alive miaka ishirini na moja miaka 18 19 17 15 15 Mwenyezi Mungu amekujalia you are alive you are eating and healthy hata siku moja hujalala nja how are you not like confident with him kwamba for the rest of your life that will be the case and then I guess the other thing this video is getting really long on this question but I really want to address it and get you guys on the same page ambao mimi niko kwamba there are so many ways to make money if you're going into these professions thinking of money as your primary goal you're in it for the wrong reason wallah ukweli tu yani ile hat to hat to say kweli there is a sort of analogy of of being They, they, there's like a great pay with associated with being doctors, being nurses, being clinical officers, being lab technicians. But if you're going in it for the money, you're going in it for the wrong reason. Because that is going to be a really, really wrong motivation in terms of kuna mahali utafika and you're like, no. No, no, no. If money is gotten in this way, then I better quit. I'm quitting, y'all. I'm quitting. <laughs> Anyways, you guys. <sighs> I've rumbled a lot on that question, but I guess I've made it really really clear on the, the page that I am on. So, the other question is what do practicals entail? So, practicals uh, I, I guess this person is is aiming towards like what is it? Uh clinicals. Yeah, so practicals uh they I'm going to generalize it so that I can make this video as short as possible. Um we have to clap patients we have to present our patients we have to depending on the level that you are at like goes from taking histories diagnosing patients suggesting the plans of the patients management of the patients and that is the general idea on adding on that we are also acquired, required to like have this practical skills ambazo ni like for example like suturing vitu kama iv line insertion vitu kama ng tube insertion vitu kama what else wound excisions like you get vitu vitu kama hizo and the other side of this question would be in school practicals what do practicals entail so kuna anatomy practicals where you go dissect observe um, also learn about the anatomy of the human being and then there's also like the biochemistry the clinical chemistry the blah 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 the histologies you go for the microscopes ni nanini you look at the tissues you look at the cells so that is the other aspect of the practical aspect of clinical medicine uh number five, do clinical officers have a union yes they do have a union it's called the clinical officers council uh number six, enrolling as a self sponsored student it ain't cheap really yeah it's not cheap it's not cheap at all and here's the note i have to say about this point if you are going into clinical medicine as a self sponsored student please 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 reconsider your option because this is just honest advice mimi nitakwambia if i'm in the, if i was in that position this is something i would have done because you you get to realize it's not cheap it's not cheap at all and it's worth it if you didn't get into medicine the first it's it's worth it getting taking a gap year like waiting because you have the money i guess you have the money to get you because the grades to get you into clinical medicine as well can get you into like medicine mbchb so unless it's a degree maybe half or but for the diploma same grades can get you no for the diploma you can't get into mbchb but the grades that people get into with diploma they can't get into with like into clinical medicine degree but if you're going for the degree as a self-sponsored student please 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 consider 
MBCHP as a sales process student because it's cheap and the and the prices sort of range in the same same mahali hapo hapo yani hapo kwa hapo you get um the other question the final question is clinical medicine or nursing which one is better so none i'm not going to compare these two because they are two totally different things and actually i'm planning to to film a video on that i don't know if you guys have any questions that you want to know about the difference between a clinical officer and a nursing officer please please comment down below send the questions to me via my instagram send the questions to me via all the socials that you know i'm in i'll, I'll put the links into the description box below and yeah so no none i'm not going to compare this two because they're two totally different things they're totally different professions and yeah so that is it for this video you guys that is all the questions i had for this video i really hope that i've shared an insight into like the questions and the answers and the answers that were really really i hope the answers were really really helpful you guys it's been a minute me recording videos that's why i'm like rambling hapanapale kidogo kidogo nisha nisha what is that word called i don't know i've forgotten that word you guys but that is it for this video uh i really hope you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't please like the video and subscribe we are almost hitting by the moment i'm recording this video we're like eight people away from 2k so please subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching